step on the field, I'm easy, batting the stars. Smash the hit stick and leave your helmet scattered in shards. Print the pattern of my cleats on the jersey and your shoulder guards. So tell me who you know going harder than Addy Card. What is up, guys? Addy Cards back <laughs> and ready for takeoff. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, what's up, guys? Back bringing you guys some uh, Madden 25 online head to head gameplay. In this video, I'm going to be rocking with the Oakland Raiders and um, try to mix it up a little bit. I was going to run a few, was going to try a uh, new scheme, to be honest. And, um, like I said, I was I was getting tired of running my old scheme, um, just getting bored of it. You know, it's it's pretty effective, and it's, I mean, it's, it's really effective, <laughs> to be 100% honest. And uh, I just got tired of it, tired of running the same old, same old. So I decided to mix it up a little bit. And uh, as you guys see, I'm running a little bit under center. Look at Terrell Pryor's pocket presence. The Oakland Raiders, definitely a great team. Um, they got speed. They got speed everywhere. You got Pryor, DMC. Uh, I guess McFadden took a hit on his speed. I remember he used to be like 98 speed. Now he's like 96. Hell, they even got, I think, 92 speed uh, fullback, or he might be 90 speed. Look at that back juke. That thing was so useless, but hey, it worked. <laughs> and I get in for seven. Um, Marcel Reese, definitely a speed strip fullback, 90 speed. I think that's the fastest fullback in the game. And then you got receivers. You got Ford. Um... Wish they still had uh, Darius Hayward Bay. Man, he would be a perfect fit in Oakland, man. All that speed. Oh, man, it's it's ridiculous. They got so much speed. Tight end, you got Osbury. And um, who else? I don't know the other tight end. O-line was all right. D-line, a little bit of struggle outside of Lamar Houston. And linebackers, they definitely had some speed at linebacker. And then cornerbacks, pretty much just like the receivers, they had speed. Um... DJ, uh, what's his name? DJ, I want to say it's Hayden. Um, DJ Hayden. Um, you also had Jenkins, um, Chimney Chekwa. Then safeties, you got <laughs> the GOAT, Charles Woodson. And uh, what's his name? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Tyvon Branch. That's it. Uh, wish they still had Michael Huff. Back in Madden 12, the Raiders were too raw. You had Huff, and then you had uh, Branch. I think they were both 95 speed at the time. Raiders had so much speed in Madden 12. And, um, I don't know, right there, 4th and 16, I decide to go full r -tard. I don't know what I did, I tried to bait that guy, and I screwed up, as you see, and he does tie it up at 7, damn, man, that's crucial, 4th and 16, I give up a touchdown, stupid ass, <laughs> oh my goodness, man, that's the worst, that's the absolute worst, especially when you get them on like a 4th down, and then they score a damn TD, 4th and 16, that's unacceptable, man, uh, all on me. I can't even blame the computer. And this dude, I'm pretty sure the only two buttons that existed on his controller were B and uh, LB. I mean, look what he's doing. It's pretty much click on back and forth. And watch, I think it happens. Yeah, right here. Just clicking on nonstop. I don't know why he's doing this shit. It's pointless. Unless there's something I don't know about. Um, I, don't, I mean, I absolutely don't know why he's clicking on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I guess he must know something that I don't. And good stuff, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell. I I think it's pointless, but hey, um, must be working for him. Again, he's just beating on the B button, and now he does not want to beat. Oh my goodness, TP, way to get rid of that prior. That was that was nice. Definitely avoided the sack, and then you know started running seven yards back. <laughs> Somehow I got it off. Third and five. I decided to use the run game a little bit this game. Um, Darren McFadden. And I thought the O-line of the Raiders, you know, could get a little push, especially on the Steelers. And um, as long as DMC didn't fumble, I should be all right. At least I thought so. And, <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens. Right here, fourth and three. Damn, I should have precisioned that down. That was like my 17th read. That was the absolute last read that I had. And I seen him open so late. And I messed up on the precision. Any other precision besides that one, I would have easily had a first down. Unless Jacoby, of course, drops it. And right here, the dude gives me the ball right back. 
I try to run a screenplay, and look at Darren McFadden, man. That dude is such a monster right there. I do a little hike and haul. I hiked the ball, and I thought it was man-to-man. -man. Pretty much ran a nice little clear out, but I don't, well, was, that wasn't man-to-man, -man cause, or, the, or the dude might have just broken off. Really wasn't paying attention. Um, I thought it was zone because the dude just broke off and then came down to tackle the QB. Or he might just have 99,000 awareness and saw me taking off with the QB and broke off guarding the receiver. Who knows? But, yeah, I get down four seconds to the half. Screenplay DMC. Get into the end zone, man. And there we go. We do regain our lead. Go up 14 to 7. This ends up being a great game. I think you guys will enjoy right there. I do try to squib kick and bounces off his head. Man, that would have sucked. Uh, that right there, uh, I do buy, um, I, what, what's his name? What was I going to say? I do buy, um, I wasn't trying to do that, actually. I was trying to squib, squib kick it deep, and uh, you know, it just bounced off his head. Um, accident, I don't know what it was. I mean, I hit like 60 power. And it bounced off his head. Definitely would not expect that. You know, that would suck if they, if you were playing as the Broncos. Three seconds left. And let's say you do that and they get the ball with one second at the 45. Matt Prater can definitely hit that and you get screwed out. Definitely need to work on my squib kicks. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty bad if you got to work on the squib kicks. Jeez, man. But, yeah. um, Does end up scoring on me. And um, good stuff by him. Ties it up at 14-all. And uh, hopefully we won't ever have to use a squib kick again, <laughs> or at least this game. Um, Steelers kicker, I don't know how far he can hit. Whoa, Jacoby Ford, go all the way. Can you say, Phew! take off all the way. Jacoby Ford for six kickoff return. Definitely like to see that. We don't have to take our offense, uh, bring him out onto the field. We take the kickoff return and... Bang, pretty much get in 21, uh, 14, and now we're back on defense. The one thing I definitely do not enjoy playing is defense. And goodness, man, he's thrown right over the middle. And oh, man, it's only going to be a matter of time before we get the high NT <laughs> right here. Uh, Le'Veon Bell trying to strip the ball out. No way I'm going to try to attempt to hit stick on him with anybody on the Raiders. It's just going to get ran over. So a strip is the best thing. At home. The one time... I wasn't. <laughs> the one time I wasn't guarding. And right there, I actually put him in a yellow and I pressed. And oh my goodness, how was that not picked up? <laughs> oh no. But that. Chimney check while, man. What are you doing? Pick the damn ball off. And right here, I knew it was only a matter of time. You. What? No way. Oh my God, man. Now look at this. Figures. Antonio Brown over the top. Catching traffic 100 tough and um, pretty much ties it up at 21. Goodness, man. I had two picks that drive. And if I would have got those, I just would have ran the ball up with Darren McFadden. Man, oh, man. That right there was the drive to finish him off. Instead, he ends up getting... T oh, goodness, man. I cannot believe it. Really disappointing. Really disappointing. But when I thought I had, I had the grasp. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Had it in the bag, I thought. And nope, Tyvon Branch wants to drop the INT. And then that perfect adjustment, too, when he threw the out route, I knew it was coming, and I gambled. And it's Madden for you, man. Madden at its finest. You could do everything right and still get screwed over. <laughs> That's how the game works, you know, perfect. And yeah, right here, third and nine, I'm looking deep. Duh! <laughs> we I think we playmaker uh, Denarius Moore. And, uh, man, what a great catch by him. You know, got it in bounds, too. And I think DMC got hurt. So, third and ten, I'm looking. I'm looking. And look at this. If you put a touch pass on it, you are walking in for six instead prior off the back foot. Oh, goodness gracious. That's a right-handed QB, too. He can definitely make that throw with ease. It wasn't like it was Vic or something running. Oh, goodness, man. Oh, the downfall of Pryor. <laughs> that sucked. But, boom, lights out. Monster big hit, and the ball pops out, and I do recover it. And now I'm only eight yards away, five to be exact, really. But can I get into the end zone third and goal? I decide to go with a play action fake, and he plays some great defense. Excellent defensive play call by this guy. 
perfect. That was awesome. And even better call on fourth and goal. He sent heat. He did not go max coverage. He actually sent heat like smart. That was super smart. That was a great play call by him. I was not expecting the heat to come. And as soon as I hiked it, he didn't give me any time for anything to develop. And I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> and, you know, I panicked good ass stuff by him, but he screws up. And my dude's triple coverage, man, cannot come down, runs the screen. Fourth and 19. Oh, goodness. The game on the line. In the double coverage, this dude, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I guess, I guess that's the only thing I can say. Um, who knows, man? I, I don't know. I guess Madden doesn't want me to win. Madden wants to take the game away. And they're doing a great job of it right here. My only option was to strip it out. He's in field goal range and he's the away team. I pretty much have to let him score. You know, at this point, I'm thinking he's going to score. It's just a matter of how much time he leaves me. So I went for the strip and he broke two tackles. Good stuff by him. If I can't strip the ball out, get into the end zone. Second best thing, right? <laughs> and that's what he does. 28 to 24, 25 seconds left, three timeouts. Denarius Moore, get out of bounds. And right here, he goes into max coverage. I'm looking. I'm looking. Duh. Oh, no. I, but Heath, yeah, Heath Miller, yeah. Yeah, Heath Miller, he's going to come down with <laughs> Oh, my goodness, man. And again, look at this. That's two feet down with the ball in his hands. Give me a break. And I could not challenge, I guess, inside the two-minute mark. You can't challenge. It's uh, everything's booth for you. Uh, fourth and ten. Do go over the top. Last chance. And he does end up stopping me. Good game to this guy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe. And until next time, I'm signing out, y'all. Salute.